Okay, we're going to pull some energy for Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you. Different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So what do we have for earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So we have caught up. Confidence. Balance. We have Virgo. I'll pull a couple more. Love yourself is here. They were trying to use children. I knew about this swim flame journey before they did. And then you have karmic soulmate. And then sleepless nights. Wow. So what I'm getting is somebody is literally, you know, they're stressed out. They're having sleepless nights. And um, and then we have true love on the bottom of the deck. So somebody is experiencing sleepless nights because they knew about this swim flame journey before you and another person did. This person was someone that knew that they were a karmic soulmate to either you or that person. So you have to take it where it resonates. And they ended up getting caught up. You're someone that's in, you know, you have confidence. Whatever was being done... It helped you build your confidence up because you're someone that love yourself. And this person is having sleepless nights because they knew they knew that this person was your true love before you knew, before that person knew. And they thought that they were going to use children or something like that to try to keep that person um, in a karmic like, you know, relationship, soul contract, karmic soul contract. And they ended up getting caught up. Now they're having sleepless nights. Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person is reaping whatever they have sown. This person have been knowing this for a long time. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Cups is here. This person wanted somebody to, um, they knew for a long time this person was secretly admiring you. This person was attracted to you. Whoever this person is, that's your true love. But they were emotionally immature. This person did not know how to express their emotions to you. Tower is here. But something happened. It's like this person could have went through a tower moment. Some type of drastic change or realization happened. While this person was secretly admiring you. The death card is here. You could have went through a transformation. You ended something out. And that caused a tower for that person. A realization for that person. And this person could um, have went through a transformation as well. Ten of Cups is here. The hangman and then six of swords in the reverse. So this could have been somebody that was in this person's family or somebody that they had a family with. Or they seen their self as, you know, this is someone that they have a family with or somebody that's a part of their family. They didn't want that person to get away, move away, sail away from things that no longer serve a purpose. They knew that they were a karmic soulmate to that person and they wanted them in the hangman energy stuff. To slow that person down, distract that person. This could have been somebody that, you know, relied on that person um, 
because they were very needy and codependent for pinnacles. So they were trying to hold on tight to that person. Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody that this person is not happy with. Like they don't make that person happy. That person is not happy with their self. They knew that person was not, you know, happy with them or around them. And um, it's like they did this to hold on to this person out of selfishness because, you know, they needed that person. Two of Swords is here. It's like this is somebody that is very two faced. They lie and um, somebody that will stab you in the back, smile in your face, and they don't care. It's like they overindulge in um, what they want for their self. Like they overindulge in toxicity, toxic patterns, toxic behaviors. And um, they didn't want that person to be happy. They didn't want that person to watch you as wish fulfillment. So they did. They caused some type of, um, they wanted that person to be blinded from the truth. They could have lied to that person. As I said, as I've you know heard, lie, lie, lie. So this is somebody that all they did was lie, whoever this person is. Yeah, they were in regret, five of cups, because they were blinded. So whoever this person is that's your true love, they were in regret, five of cups, because they had been lied to and they had been, been blinded from the truth. They weren't able to see properly. Nine of swords is here, and then the hermit is here, yeah. This person had been stressed out. If this person ghosted you or they've just been in isolation, no communication, you have not heard from that person, they could have been going through a lot of stress. Yeah, they can't sleep at night. This person could have ghosted you from some type of lie that was told to them, to a swords, and it had them in their head because of all of these rumors or gossip or lies that were spread at the Nine of Swords. Yeah. It's like whoever this energy is, they were trying to get inside of this person's head or they had some type of control over the way this person thought. They knew how to manipulate this person. The hair find is here. Somebody that they trusted. And I said, if this isn't someone that they had an actual family with, this could have been somebody that was in their family. The food card is here. Yeah, this person is stressed out because you're going towards a whole nother direction. And it's like that person wants to come towards you. Because they see you in this hair fine energy. They see you as someone that gives them strength. The strength card is here. King of Swords is here. And then Queen of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this, this could have been literally a relationship. This person needed to cut somebody off. And they could have been invested in that person, Seven of Pentacles, financially, because this person was holding on to them very needy and codependent. They needed that person to take care of them financially. Four of Cups is here. This is somebody that's very insecure. They're... um. They wanted that person to miss an opportunity with you. Four cups. They figure if they miss an opportunity with you, they have no choice but to stay attached to them in a karmic cycle. Because they knew that you and this person were destined. The will of fortune is here. It was a destined partnership. But they don't want that person to move forward. The cherry in the reverse is here. And then ten of swords. It's like they didn't want that person to move forward because they were accustomed to, you know, keeping that person down. Keeping that person unhappy. And um, this was the ultimate betrayal. It's like they knew before that person knew. And this person's in regret because they were blinded from the truth for a long time. Yeah, everything backfired. The person that was creating blockages uh, for that person... It backfired onto that person that's for that person to realize the person that they were attached to was creating blockages for them. If they were trying to send stuff at you or um, 
wanted you to go through harsh, painful endings, lied on you. It only backfired and they got caught up because you're divinely protected. Seven of Wands is here. Everything was blocked off. Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they were trying to block this person off from coming towards you. Ace of Pentacles starting over. This person could have wanted to get in a relationship with you, a commitment with you, Ace of Pentacles, and they were trying to keep that person blocked off. They didn't want that person to have abundance. Yeah, out of jealousy. Five of Swords is here. They were trying to sabotage the connection between you and that person. And they were being very sneaky. This is deception. The Emperor is here. The Seven of Swords. It's like this was a setup. This person could have been set up by somebody that was... um. Somebody that was older than them. Two of Cups and then Justice is here. Yeah. So whoever this Emperor is, they're in the Seven of Swords energy. They um they have yeah, they have matured. If this is this person, it's like they needed to mature and um build up their confidence because now they're trying to strategize how can they partner up with you they want balance justice and then temperance and two of cups they want balance things to be balanced out between you and them and they're trying to strategize on how can they you know bring balance to this situation king of cups is here Knight of Wands and Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how can they come towards you. King of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands. This person is in love with you. They want to express their self emotionally. And this person just wants to come in, Knight of Wands, without even thinking. They're constantly juggling. Two of Pentacles is here. Juggling their thoughts. Five of Pentacles is here. Yeah. That person was juggling like they were in the energy where they were juggling throughout life with someone that was a Knight of Wands energy and Five of Pentacles that they needed to leave out in the cold. This was some type of lustful energy. If they were in a relationship or situation with this person, this was somebody that that um was using that person and also someone that was um, trying to keep that person in a lustful energy to be attracted to them because they knew that person was not happy. And they caused some type of betrayal. Whatever came out, whatever they got caught up doing, they had been doing it for a long time because they knew about the twin flame journey before y'all did. And they were being very sneaky. They place some type of lustful energy onto that person to keep them attached to them sexually. But it only kept that person in a five of pentacles, low vibrational energy, being attached to this karmic soulmate. And this was someone that was, um, you know, they needed to leave out in the cold if they wanted to partner up with you. Yeah, five of one. This person always had a lot of conflict, drama, chaos, fights, arguments. And they were jealous. Ever since they found out, like, they've been jealous. They've been secretly trying to copy you, compete with you, look like you, act like you, talk like you. To try to hold on to that person out of desperation. Because they're afraid of being rejected. They were afraid of this person um, finding out that they were a karmic soulmate and you were their true love. But they still got caught up. Yeah, they got exposed. The sun card is here. They're seeing that person for who they truly are because this person was somebody that was trying to mimic you. It's like they wanted to be you, but they were intimidated and jealous of you because of this connection. Ace of Cups, because this person is in love with you. You're that person's true love. Two of Wands is here. And Knight of Cups. Yeah, they were trying to prolong this person from connecting with you. 
have that person at a stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. So this person would not come towards you and express their self emotionally. Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah. So this person wouldn't come towards you and you, you, it would be equal give and take. Like they thought that they were going to keep that person in. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of, Ace of Swords. They found out the truth. You're their equal. But it's like this person thought that um, if they would keep that person, I, that's all I keep getting. They thought that they would keep that person at a stalemate, keep that person blinded from the truth. That person would be confused and not know that they're um, your true love. You're their true love. You're that their two of cups. They could have wanted that person to think that they were someone that they um, were destined to be with through lust. And it wasn't love. And this person would just be at the two of swords, blinded from what love really is. And they would be in this lustful energy, chasing this person down, nine of wands. Balancing stuff out for this person. Cause, and they're in this low vibrational energy. Very toxic. Nine of Pentacles is here. And eight of swords. It's like once this person tried to, you know, find out the truth and they could have separated themselves from them, they wanted that person to be stuck. They could have tried to bind that person to them by using binding magic or something like that. Just to try to keep that person attached to them where they wouldn't let go and they wouldn't know, you know, at the two of swords why they couldn't detach from that person. Page of Wands is here. And then Ten of Pentacles is here. Then Eight of Cups. This person found out some type of uh, information about this person. Page of Wands. Somebody could have communicated something to this person. Could have been in that person's family. Like whoever the person is that got caught up Somebody that was in their family could have told this person something that they did. And that caused this person to walk away eight of cups from a confused mindset. No longer blinded from the truth. Knight of Swords is here. Yeah, they were upset. Knight of Swords, King of Pentacles, and Three of Swords. They were heartbroken when they found this information out about this person. Because they literally could have been taking care of that person financially. This caused depression. This person was heartbroken because they felt, felt like they did something too quick. They ran into something too quick. And this was a toxic karmic soulmate. The devil that they were attached to. Yeah, and it had them constantly going through bad, you bad karma, judgment in the reverse. Yeah, because this person needed to heal. The star card is here. They were continue to go through bad karma, being attached to this karmic soulmate because they needed to heal. They needed to cleanse their self, balance out whatever it is that had them in that low vibrational energy attached to attached to this toxic karmic soulmate. Six of Cups and then Three of Wands is here. But this person has made a decision that they want to um, come back towards you. Reunite with you. After finding out the truth. Queen of Swords is here. They just needed to cut that person off. And then Six of Wands is here in order to have victory and success. In order to be successful... Because they were staying attached to that person. They were just keeping that person at the two of pentacles. It's like they were juggling that person. And they were sleeping with different people. But they figured that they had that person confused. Blinded from the truth. And this was a secret. That person would have control over them. Um, manipulating them. And seeing, having that person see them in certain lights that was not their own. They ended up getting caught up. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold. Six of pentacles. Good or bad. Four of Swords is here. 
and then Queen of Cups is here. Then the lovers is here. Yeah. It's like the, you and this person have been in isolation and in solitude. And they figure if they keep that person isolated away from you, the lovers, Queen of Cups, somebody that they're in love with. It's like they knew that person was unhappy with them, in love with you, and you were their, their true love. And y'all have a destiny and a purpose together. This is a spiritual connection, a divine connection. You could literally be this person's twin that shared the same soul as them. That person was jealous of that. They knew that they were a karmic soulmate. Yeah, four ones on the bottom of the deck. It's like, this is your twin. But they were desperately trying to hide this from this person. They thought that if this person had cut you off Queen of Swords, they would be at the Six of Wands having some type of victory and success. They would be held in high honor or something like that. Yeah, but this person could not get you off of their mind. They're coming towards you. The Empress and Eight of Wands is here. Whatever this person was doing in this Five of Wands energy, trying to imitate you, trying to mimic you, it made this person have more affection, more uh, attraction and passion for you, King of Wands. It caused this person to get woke. It caused this person to use their intuition and get, you know, more in tune. Go after whatever it is that they want out of life and they want to take action towards you. Ace of Wands is here. This person wants to start over with you and they want to work on this um, partnership with you. Eight of Pentacles. 